Tyler Perry Studios was already impressive. Black Panther, The Walking Dead were all shot there. But now he's expanded it to become one of the biggest movie studios in the country. So huge. I mean, congratulations again, Tyler Perry. Well done to you and everyone who's worked on this. And naming each location for an African-American icon is a great tribute. I mean, he even built a soundstage for Oprah. Do you know how rich you have to be to give something <laughs> to Oprah? Huh? <laughs> like, she probably forgot what that even feels like. <laughs> I bet she was just there like, wait, what is happening? I get a studio, you get a studio, we're all getting studios! <laughs> she was probably like, what is this? <laughs> And I know, I know Tyler Perry is building the studio for everyone else to use, but if I was him, I would make it a rule that Medea has to be in every movie that films there. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. I would be like, Medea even has to be in Star Wars. Yeah, Darth Vader would be like, look, I am your father. Then Medea would pop like, and I'm your auntie. <laughs> That's right. You black Luke, welcome to the big Happy Force family. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this new studio is the White House set. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's, it's a replica, and it's 35,000-odd square feet. I was thinking, we could definitely trick Trump into living there. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just spin him around a few times, <laughs> put him in the White House, problem solved. Yeah, and then he'll see Tyler Perry, and he'll be like, Ben Carson, great to see you. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so again, congrats to Tyler Perry. It's really great to see a black person so successful. You know, black progress, that's what it looks like. But let's move on. Because while we're inspired by a whole new level of black progress, this next story reminds you there's still a long way to go. When they say that jury duty is mandatory, they really do mean it. Just ask the Florida man who ended up in jail after missing his first day serving on a trial. Today, DeAndre Somerville came to court on time. The 21-year-old apologizing to the judge after he says he overslept, missing his first day serving on a jury. Somerville, who had never been arrested, now has a criminal record for contempt and spent 10 days in jail with hardened criminals. The judge today explained the punishment. The critic's charge was over the top. Mr. Somerville was the only African-American on our jury and represented a very important cross-section of our community. Okay, I'm sorry, but this right here, is the biggest load of bullshit I have ever seen in a long time. <laughs> this is trash. Like, you know, you know racism is bad in America when a black man can get thrown in jail at someone else's trial. That's like some M. Night Shyamalan twist-ending racism. <laughs> the judge is like, the defendant is free to go, but we find this black juror guilty. Take him to jail. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Felicity Huffman committed fraud and only got 14 days for fraud, right? This guy came late to jury duty, and he gets 10 days, and he got a year of probation. He gets community service and a fine. <laughs> yeah, that punishment does not fit the crime. That would be like on a flight, if, like, the flight attendant caught you unbuckling your seatbelt during takeoff, and they just kicked you out the plane. Get out! <laughs> What's even worse is that reason that the judge gave, right? The judge is like, no, I'm punishing you because you were the only black juror, and we needed a black person's perspective on the jury. In other words, he got sent to jail because he was the only black juror. So why not just put him on another jury, huh? Because that's where you say you need the black people. You know where you don't need more black people? In jail, mother <laughs> That's where, in jail. <laughs> and finally, moving on. This is a fun video out of Long Island. Before you watch it, no animals or humans were harmed in the making of this story, <laughs> but, uh, everyone's minds were blown. Well, the owner of a hair salon on Long Island, you talk about a scare. This was quite the scare after a deer crashed right through the front window. And the chaos was all caught on camera. I'd be screaming, too. Yes, customers began screaming, and shards of glass went flying after the deer dashed into the beautiful salon in Lake Ronkonkoma. One woman who was waiting on the couch was kicked by the buck as it jumped over her. She was not seriously hurt. The deer finally galloped out the front door with the hair straightener tangled around its antlers. Holy shit! That is insane! That reminds me of me when I'm running behind on a hair appointment. I also do the same thing. I just bust through the window. Yeah, because if you're late for a haircut, you know how they treat you. They treat you like shit. Yeah, you'll leave the salon with a messed up line, looking like a broke-ass LeBron. You gotta get in there quickly. You gotta get in there quickly. 